Hello, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy Legend 2! And today we're going into the basement of Echigoya's shop, so let's take a look around. We couldn't bring Echigoya to justice the old-fashioned way, so we're just going to be taking him out. In this secret area. Maybe we can uh, find some bananas here and smoke them. Can you smoke bananas if you wanted them to? I mean, I suppose you could smoke anything. Do you even smoke opium to begin with? I mean, how do you intake or indulge in opium? I mean, I don't know. I mean, I have no idea what it is, really, to be honest. I guess you smoke it. That second room has guards in it, by the way. You could fight them endlessly if you want, but we're going to eavesdrop on these guys instead. The Shogun's the guy in charge of this world, by the way. Apparently, he's in league with the Echigoya. And he's keeping the courts quiet, huh? I guess that's why, uh... Uh, why they let him go. What's he getting out of it? Oh, money. Okay. So, he's paying the Shogun, and the Shogun is paying the courts. Oh, and he's trying to get Magi, so he... I guess he can continue to rule the world because he's already in charge here. Ah, that's more... or nicer music. Where is that coming from, anyway? You shogun scum! Apparently, Lore comes with his built own built-in speakers. And Echigoya's got nine guards on him. Holy cow. We gotta take these guys out. Let's use uh, Temptation. Maybe that'll work on the guards. Got him off our case the last time. Hey, hey, all right, it worked. Excellent. So let me get this straight with the plot, make sure I understand. Shogun has Magi and trying to get more Magi to become the god of the Edo world, or he's already in charge so he can maintain his power. So, okay, fair enough. But, so, so, I mean, what? He's in cahoots with Echigoya for the money? And then he's using his influence to keep uh, the courts off Echigoya's case, right? So if Echigoya has such influence over the courts, couldn't he just make bananas legal to begin with and just avoid all the hassle? Huh. Okay, well, I guess Echigoya is just working for the Shogun. He's not, well, I guess he is the bad guy, but he's not the real bad guy. Just like all Squaresoft games, you have to have the bad guy and the real bad guy. So I guess now we have to go after uh, Shogun. Oh, so Taro is a guardian. He's not just a school teacher. Not that there's anything wrong with being a school teacher, just, you know, being a guardian of the world is cooler. Yeah, we don't want Hana in our party. Taro is like a million times better. Let's take a look at what he's got. Oh yeah, look at those stats. He's got excellent weapons, he's even got shield, cure spells, uh, Miramasa, Mir Mirasame, Miramasa, whatever. Yeah, Miramasa, whatever it is. He's got that, that's a very excellent sword. So uh, yeah, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rest up at the inn, and then I'm going to uh, meet you over at Shogun's castle, the first castle that I went to in this world. Okay, we're all set and ready to go. So we've made it to uh, the Castle Edo. I was going to say the Shogun's Castle, but I guess that's the name of the castle where the Shogun is. So rearrange my party a little bit. Move Pyro up in the order slightly, because along the way I learned protection from weapon. It's a fairly, well, not a rare ability, but rarer, uncommon ability. And uh, it essentially doubles his defense, so that's pretty good there got some magic defense too, but uh, not nearly the HP that Laura has, so I wouldn't put him quite that high up there. Normally, my mutant ends up being farther down the order, but, well, it's just the way the randomness of the game works. Hey, how's it going? Maybe these guys will let us in. We're the villains? What are you talking about? Die! Okay, I'm gonna have Laura tank there without using the tank cannon. Ninja's got a lot of HP, so what I want to do... Yeah, unfortunately, I had to put Blizzard at the bottom of the order there. I'm going to use it here, but the thing is, is that I could lose Blizzard now, but we're going to get uh, Flare eventually. 
Yeah, the uh, Mirror Master Sword, that um, deals extra damage to human monsters, or um, even magicians, I've, I've heard, like mutants or whatever, but there you go. That's pretty good there. But yeah, between Blizzard and Flame, I should be able to take out just about any enemy in the game. Uh, put together, that is, or any enemy groups. For now. We'll see. So, basically, the lesson of this world is, if you can't arrest someone legally, then you should hire an assassin or a samurai and kill them. Basically, that's what they're telling us to do. Great lesson, Squaresoft. The lesson of the day, once again, is revenge! I suppose at least they're being straightforward about it instead of censoring it. But they, we do a lot of revenge in these games, don't we? Huh. Oh, and we've got some new and very irritating enemies. Guy Bulgs, they have protection from weapon and protection from change, which is basically just about everything except, uh, oh, what is it? That's everything except uh, Quake, which I don't think I've ever gotten a Quake ability in this game, so we're just going to have to take them out the old-fashioned way. Uh, the trees and the pathogens. Whoa, what was that? I've never seen that before. But anyway, they're weak to fire, so it doesn't matter. Die. And so are the trees. Of course they're weak to fire. Now, I got a question for you, viewers. Why is the encounter rate in this game so high? No, no, that is not what I wanted to ask. Or maybe it is. No, no, it isn't. Uh, basically, in this world, we're fighting level 7 monsters now, right? Now, the next world is an interesting case. Because it's optional, but we can run into really powerful monsters there. Level 8 and 9 monsters. So, uh, oh, by the way, that room's empty there. So, my question is, would you rather I show the level 8 and 9 monsters in the next world, or would you rather I hold off on showing it to you then, and show them to you later in the game when we're generally supposed to meet up with them? I would hope that you wouldn't mind if I just skipped all the random battles in the next world, because it is very long, and it would make for some really, really irritating editing. Let's just put it that way. I'd rather wait until we're supposed to meet up with those level 8 and 9 monsters. Let's see, uh, we go in here. Yeah, yeah, there we go. So yeah, I just, you know, wanted to ask you, see what you wanted me to do with the, uh, how you want me to handle that because we're almost done here and we've got some new enemies here uh, let's see phantoms oh those guys are hard uh, yeah we want to defend they're weak to fire still so that's pretty good flame on everyone and I suppose it doesn't really matter phantoms are annoying though yeah I remember those guys earlier well how do you like it now huh yeah take that yeah! Yeah! There you go. Yeah, try using your ice spells on me now! Come on! Bring it on, phantoms! Oh, what's the matter? You're slower than me now? I'm sorry. I couldn't hear you. Sorry for getting so excited there, viewers. Yeah, I just get excited when I run into enemies who have killed me in the past. Because that happens so rarely. Hey, hey, all right. We've got the ninja gauntlets. I think they're the best gauntlets in the game, if I recall correctly. So let's give those to Laura here. Yeah, that's a lot better there. So let's see. Well, okay, maybe a little better. But hey, that's pretty good anyway. He's my, he's my tank. Both literally and figuratively now. And we've got a body potion. That increases HP, if I'm not mistaken, for humans and mutants. Let's see. Who do I want to use it on? Pyro. There we go. Humans usually have a tendency of gaining more, a lot more HP than mutants, but man, this is a weird game. Huh, okay, not as long as the next world. <laughs> the next world is nasty. Anyone who's played this game will agree with me on that, I'm sure. 
<laughs> Let's head over here now. And what is this? A schoolroom? Huh. What's with the desks and everything? I guess maybe Taro was right. This is a pretty big place. Can we stop the Shogun and his evil banana smuggling ways? Find out next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy Legend 2! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!